Hi, welcome to Troubadour's videos. In the last couple of weeks I've been receiving a lot of emails and messages from people asking exactly how fast the 9800 GTX is and how capable it is of being overclocked. It just so happens that we have three 9800 GTX SSCs which uh, are the fastest GTX cards on the market right now. We have three of those water cooled and loaded into the Crisis Cruncher and we're going to be testing those in SLI and check out their overclocking capabilities. So thank you for watching and enjoy. For this benchmark we're going to be using EVGA's precision overclocking utility. Right now the card is just sitting there at its standard settings which is 770 core, 1944 MHz shader clock and 1150 MHz memory clock. For this particular benchmark uh, the performance preset seems to be pretty popular with a lot of people out there. It's possibly one of the most competitive areas of benchmarking with the new 3D Mark Vantage. So we're going to run the card in that uh, preset and see exactly what it can do on its standard clock settings. Okay, so here we go with the benchmark. This is on the performance preset. This isn't uh, a bad little benchmark actually. I quite like it. The GPUs themselves seems to be pretty cool right now, 49 degrees, 47, 42. Gotta admit that is a pretty cool little boat she's got there. Wouldn't mind having one of those, huh, Stamboni? Imagine what you could do in the lake with that bad boy. Okay, and that's the end of benchmark test one. This is graphics test two. It's called New Calico. And this one's pretty interesting with DX10 because the uh, geometric shaders really kick in here. This is where if you have a fan-cooled GPU, you pretty much hear that fan winding up mid-test. You'll see a bit of a difference when I run the quad SLI tests. Um, I'll be running those benchmarks next so you see You'll see quite a comparison there. And we're coming to the end of the test. Graphic card temperatures 53, 52 and 47 degrees C. 15,412. That's, that's pretty reputable for uh, three GTXs. This is GPU test one, Jane Nash. I've overclocked the GPU, the core to 864 the shader to 2106 and the memory to 1224 MHz so let's see uh, what the these cards are the potential of doing when overclocked well I think it's fantastic I've been checking out some of you guys scores uh, running 8800 Ultra cards those cards still seem to be holding in their cut in the mustard very very reputable st scores coming off those particular GPUs I do still have two of my 8800 Ultra Triple X uh, series available if anybody needs them uh, they are for sale, so let me know. Okay, approaching the end of the test. Temperatures 56, 55, 50. Okay, GPU test 2, new Calico. Again, sim overclocking uh, results on this one. 864 core, 2106 shader, and 1224 memory. Everything seems to be running pretty good right now, pretty stable. Temperatures seem to be okay-ish. Uh, 53 degrees, 51, 46. Those water coolers are really sucking the heat out of those GPUs there.
Okay, approaching the end of the test. So, what was our final score? 16.329. That's not too bad. Pretty reputable score. CPU score 17.573 and a GPU score 15.953, nearly 16,000. So, pretty happy with that. Thank you for watching Troubadour's videos. The EVGA 9800 GTX SSC is a phenomenal product, has huge potential for overclocking, and I firmly believe we'll see a lot better scores on 3D Mark Vantage from you guys going forward. So overclock those cards like crazy and post those scores. Please check back for more videos. We've got some of the XFX GX2s. We're going to be stripping these apart and installing a few Coolant water blocks. We'll be putting these in the Crisis Cruncher and creating comparable benchmarks uh, for these graphics cards. So a couple of your questions will be answered on which cards are better. Once again, thank you for your comments and if you enjoy these videos, please subscribe. Thanks.